Her statement on the sniper smelled worse than Joe's diaper. <laughs> that rhyme has never been done ever. <laughs> Probably for good reason. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle was more elusive than a racehorse at a slaughterhouse, trying hard not to answer questions about the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. And nine days after the attack on Trump, she had zero answers. Were you guessing or lying when you said you didn't turn down requests from President Trump's detail? Neither. There were sufficient resources. What did you just that say? Were given right. to did you just say there were sufficient presidents. resources? I, I don't have the full content of what his searches were. I, I don't have an answer. Again, I don't have those specific timelines, so I'm not going to provide a name. I believe that the FBI is still looking into that on their investigation. I don't have all of the answers on the timelines. Not to my knowledge, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Who at All right, here we go. I'm not certain, I don't know. I'm not covering anything up. Hmm. <laughs> if only Donald Trump was as guarded as she was. Ooh. A little play on words for you kids who are interested in the English language at home. Keep score. Or don't. Hey, so Emily, she didn't come off as trustworthy to me. <laughs> yeah, no, not How exactly. How does she be in charge if she knows nothing? Honestly, right after this trial, the way she just embarrassed herself, it's really disgraceful that she didn't resign immediately and they waited for, what was it, signatures to try to force her to resign. It's just embarrassing to the American people, embarrassing to her own reputation. But more importantly, you know, the only silver lining, and it's horrible to even say this out loud, was what happened was so outrageous that it was bipartisan that every yeah. Democrat and Republican that was in that hearing today could agree that this was almost too outrageous to have been an accident. Now, I've been called a conspiracy theorist all day over it, but the, the series of events that occurred that day are far too negligent for anyone to believe that these were all coincidences and accidents. It, it was maybe coordinated negligence, but somebody needs to take accountability for it and her Lack of answers, I think, points to directly to the answer that she needs to, you know, take true accountability for it. I mean, it's really amazing to, it's a very unique event that gets AOC to sound like an adult. <laughs> that was like mind far. blowing to me. Yeah, but of course, uh, Rashida Tlaib, I think it was, or I think it was, or still went off on gun control, which was yeah. hysterical. Oh, yeah. Cat. I seem to think you would be better at this job than she would without any prior experience. Yeah, you don't got to be good at that job, yeah. <laughs> barely. Yeah. At first, I was like, man, if I were her and I was in that here, I would be freaking out way more than she's freaking out. Yeah. Like, I'd be so nervous. She's so chill. But then I realized that I'm actually wrong in thinking that because it's because I don't work for the Secret Service. Right. I work <laughs> in the private sector, meaning I actually have the possibility of facing consequences for my behavior. Mm -hmm doesn't really happen in the government very often. I mean, think about it. You can't even, it, it was such a great illustration of why there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. Like, well, who's, she, they're like, people like trying to get her to say, who's responsible? She's like, people. Yeah, people. <laughs> I, I don't want to name names. <laughs> people. And, 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 and if you can't name it, then you can't fire the person. So it's like, it's like she's chill because, of course, why would she resign? Because that's the decent thing to do? Since when has anybody cared about that in the government? I was, when I was listening to her, uh, Tyrus, it just reminded me of every counter person I've encountered at a rental car company. Yeah. It's like, no, I said the convertible uh, That might have been where they got her from. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I want an effing car, effing now. Yeah. Now. And then, well, you're effed. Yes. So, it's, you're either stupid or complacent. Mm -hmm. Either way, you can't do the job. Yeah. But again, this is the DEI. The biggest questions that should be there is the coincidences that are just too ridiculous to ignore. Mm -hmm. Dr. President Jill suddenly needed on the day that the president, former president who just kicked their ass in every possible phase, needed more detail on her on the day that just so happens that a lone gunman climbed a slope wall that wasn't covered, I mean, I said one thing online. I said, I think we all need to shut up and start ta stop talking about our opinions and just let it play out. Just watch the video from the people out there. Watch the squirms. Watch the thing. She has no idea what it was. You think someone would, when you say DEI, we have to be consistent. She's putting it, when you put a DEI in that position, they're just there to be there. Mm -hmm. They don't make the decisions. She has no clue. 
because that's not if I if something happened on my bodyguard watch and has happened. Mm -hmm. I know everything from everybody. Every one of my guys would be sitting in that table with the light on, write down everything that happened. What'd you have for breakfast? How many times did you pee? I would know everything. So when I go, because you need to know everything, because it could have been his pee break. That was the reason why somebody got shot. So I would literally come down there and be like, here's this. This is my man. I don't know. This firing this prepared because you care. But we have watched for the last eight years all these martyrs, whether they're on MSNBC, first of all, we should be calling for the resignation of everybody who sat there and said, oh, is this, is this a fake flag? Mm -hmm. There is a dead father we're forgetting about, a man who lost his life. Mm -hmm. Just off that alone, where was that? Where's the remorse? Yeah. Where's the hurt? Because there, it's a higher power. If you break a few eggs, and that's been this administration's whole thing. So, again, I'm not making any prediction. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Anybody with half a brain can lay it out to play it out. It's sh but this shouldn't that's take why she's 60 still years. That's good at it. Yeah, no, she can't <laughs> play anything out. She doesn't know anything, and yeah. that's what we get because she's, a, she's not a real player. Watching her, Dr. Drew, yeah. you know, you're a psychologist. Uh, some no. say... No. No? Go ahead. <laughs> some say that you're a psychologist. Okay, yes. That's, that's true. <laughs> some I wrong. say you're a psychologist and a sex therapist. Um, <laughs> It struck me how ambivalent, as, as Tyrus pointed out, how ambivalent she was. Was that, like, she's not going to be sued. She has this immunity, I would think. Why is she so ambivalent? Yeah. Is there something wrong there? Uh, I thought she was, like, dissociating and numb. I really thought they went at her so hard, she just numbed up and sort of was not really fully present. Kat was saying how difficult it would be to take that, but I, I'm not sure she was all there during it. And the reality is there were a couple comments made, one you just brought up, that Hillary got, excuse me, that Jill got 12 agents from the Pittsburgh office while Trump got four. I believe those were the numbers, which yeah. was bizarre. The other somebody else brought up is why weren't we having press conferences every day updating us on what you do know? Exactly. What is it that you know? Exactly. Yeah. And to, the, I know nothing does not inspire confidence <laughs> nine days out. Yeah. It oh. is disgusting. And they use the word disgusting repeatedly, and I thought that's how we I feel. We still don't know who ordered Afghanistan. It's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. President. Uh, it's just like the same person. Um, people. Yes. yes. Well, they know it was definitely Which people. people. Yes. <laughs> and thank to a to all the squirrels that were sweating bullets in the trees. <laughs> yeah. You're clear. They have narrowed it down. You're clear. Yeah, they've yeah. narrowed it down. People. Yes. Yep. All right, she's got to go. Coming up, will it be a he or a she when Cam picks her VP? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.